सेम पेज लिंकिंग लिंकिंग इन द सेम पेज और सेम पेज लिंकिंग और पॉइंट टू पॉइंट लिंकिंग सेम पेज लिंकिंग डॉट एच टी एम एल और वी कॉल इट एज पॉइंट टू पॉइंट लिंकिंग ऑल्सो वट इज नेक्स्ट वन नेक्स्ट टॉपिक पॉइंट टू पॉइंट लिंकिंग for that i will take one small simple example first i am taking one image src 1234.jpg the same image i am copy pasting 3 4 times so that i will get scrolling i will get scrolling to get scrolling i am copy pasting this one Save it. Same page linking. See, you are getting scrolling now. You are getting scrolling. To get that scrolling, I have taken the image three four times. Now, before that image, I am taking one H two. In that, I am taking bottom text. After. image s i am taking another h2 in that i am taking top text refresh now you see bottom top bottom is in the above top is in down so what is the program means if i click this bottom text i should go to bottom of the page if i click top text here it should go to the top of the page that means instead of scrolling if i click the text it will go to bottom if i click the top it will go to top i am not giving link to another page i am not giving link to another file i am giving link to one point to from bottom point to top point and top point to bottom point point to point linking so how you are going to give that one we'll see so first if you want to give linking there is only one tag a h r e f first you open that one close that one next here a h r e f open close that one okay i have given linking for the both one now if i click bottom i should go to top if i click top i should go to bottom how it can understand that if i click bottom how it can understand that it should go there only it cannot understand for that purpose we need to give here names names for the anchor points that is the important thing here a1 in the here i am giving name a2 a1 a2 two names i have taken now if i click bottom i should go to here what is the name of that one a2 so that name with hash symbol a2 you will give here for anchor points names we should use hash symbol hash anchor point name a1 that means if i click top i will go to a1 if i click bottom i will go to a2 that means linking from here to there now you see refresh if i click bottom see automatically to the page bottom i have come if i click top automatically to top of the page i am getting bottom bottom top top of the page see automatically it is moving so this is called page to page or same page linking or point to point linking so in order to do point to point linking the only important thing is we should take names for the anchor points those same names we should give in the href with hash symbol see below anchor point name is a2 that i am giving here hash a2 this is a1 that i am giving in the bottom hash a1 that is the important thing here so this is about point to point linking point to point linking
this is about total linking properties okay next after linking options next properties are lists what is the next topic list properties uh, what is this list properties or why we use list to arrange the data in a proper order in a proper order or a proper manner we call it as we use lists so we have total three types of lists one is order list second one is an order list third one definition list so these are the total three types of list we are having order list an order list and definition list now we are going to see individually among this first we will see order list next we can see an order list next we will see definition generally we use any list to arrange the data in a proper manner that is the use of list concept now we will see the programs now so i will save this as ordered list dot html in title also i am taking that only ordered list so how to create order list we will see now so to create order list ol is a tag open ol close ol inside that ol to create list we use another sub tag called li li means list items i am creating some courses list html css like that i am taking three four courses names okay i have taken some five courses list save it now open that order list file see how you are getting the list in numbers that means if you take order list that will be in number style that is the default now we can give styles for that order list what is that means type property type property is used to give styles for the order list so in type property what we are going to give styles styles the default style is numbers so you will get in numbers only see it is not changed because default is in numbers only now you give a now you see it will come in alphabets capital a b c d s okay now give small a u small a now small a b c d s previously capital a b c d s now small a b c d now again capital i save refresh roman numbers capital i means you will get roman numbers next small i small roman numbers so this is the five styles we can give what are those one capital a small a capital i small i these are the types we can give so what i will do default i will give numbers so that it will come in numbers individually also we can take the types for example for javascript i am giving type a for flash i am giving type capital i means roman numbers so what you will get now means for html you will get one for css you will get two for javascript you will not get a if i give just type a means it is not that it will get a 
if i am giving type means instead of numbers type you will get alphabet type that is the meaning of that one that means you will get html1 css2 for javascript you will get c in actually javascript should come three but i am giving type as alphabet that's why it will come c for php you will get four and flash you will get roman number five c that only you will get in the output refresh c for javascript c for flash roman number five number ordering will never change just style will change that means we can individually give also type property for li tags also and the next important option is start so from where it is starting from 1 2 3 from 1 it is starting now i will give 10 so that it will start from 10 only 10 11 12 13 like that it is starting from 10 now that is the use of start option so this is about ol ol type start option okay this is the order list next we'll do an order list an ordered list dot html okay now we'll do an order list same like this only will be there some changes we will make it instead of these types i will remove those types similar to order list only small changes that's all previously ol now ul ul means an order list if you take ul you will get an order list ol order list now you see how it will get see you are getting in bullets that means if we use ul you will get bullet style instead of bullets what are the other styles we can take means type is equal to disk that is the default no change see no change because default is disk disk is nothing but bullets circle circle means see instead of bullets now you are getting circles next one is square now you will get squares instead of circles see you can get now squares so this is about three styles one is disk another one is circle another one is square so these are the three types of styles we can give for ul ul means an order list so we don't have any start option for this one because for circle and distance square there is no any starting value now that's why we don't have any start option these are the properties we can give for these three styles only will be there disk circle square so this is about an ordered list order list an order list looks similar only and third list is definition list definition list so how the definition list will be we'll see now definition list so these two will be similar but definition list will be different dl definition list in that dt dd two tags will be used dt means definition term dd means definition description i will take one term for example html only this is one term now definition term i will give definition description now definition description okay definition term definition description like that we can take so many n number of terms and n number of descriptions css this is another term another description like that term description term description i am taking just 
3 you can take more also next next dd ram First, we should take dt, then dd. Definition term we should take, at that term we will give description. You close this open definition list. See term some gap description, term some gap description, term some gap description. This is the definition list. We do not have any styles and anything in that one, just you will get like this term some gap description, term some gap description. Simple, this is the definition list. So, whenever you want to insert some term and you need to have some gap and give description, this is the one way of showing. This is called definition list. We do not have any options in this one. So, this is about three types of list. This is about total list, order list, unordered list, and next one is definition list. Okay? This is about list topic.